Oh, I was born ready, so I'm always ready. Met my boy blasters. Don't want to meet my boy pepe. I'll watch him be more crap. Why not bet me about watching? Hey, a Cassio Poli, where you're Ganyo Poli. Ganyo Poli, Nessino. You're dying, Hona. You're Bassi. Um, the issue, no, 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 say. Um, I asked a question recently about Ket Okrekumante, the GFA boss, no? A dear pan wa achieve time from time or be a FA boss to date. What has he achieved? And when you ask these questions, people get pissed off. And a year omwa can okreku a feed you almost and kukono. They feel say can okreku has to be protected no matter what. That is my problem. Because people are hired, and when they are hired, it is based on their performance and a more extension of contract. And I say, yes, some more extension of leadership. And this will be a FA boss for a couple of years. Now, say on to me, Shrek Ghana for what he has added to Ghana sports and the Ghana Football Association. Let me say that was that's much better. The Ghana Football Association, Nirizo Mesusiano, what he has actually added because there's nothing can Okre Kumante has added to our, our football. And when you're looking at our soccer right now, you could see, say, our soccer is they are depreciating. And I say it is basically uh, 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 being dest destroyed gradually. The reason why uh, I'm on phone person be raising issue in the say, Ket Okrekumante, I build some a uh, criminal cartel beer from the media, some of the media to a year or from all political uh, and sports uh, members. And I say, panelists. What they do, and they say they always showed credit to Krekumante. And when you ask very important, pertinent questions about the performance of the leadership of the Ghana Football Association and the way, and I say uh, the direction of our national team, especially the Black Stars, who want to say some people don't even want to go there. They don't even want to ask the question because people should be asked questions. Why, you, Juma? How many years? What can you tell us, sir? Oh, the Abeka Ghana football. Um? And this guy, since he assumed office, continuously, he is destroying our soccer, especially our national team. For a very long time, we've not had a unique national team. Let's put the Black Stars on, in the basket a little bit. Yes, any unique uh, national team here, yeah, the younger ones, satellites, um, uh, meteors, Black Queens, Black, it be, it's recently now, it's, uh, Black uh, Queens, and uh, 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 maidens, they are basically winning some games but from the time that this guy became the gfa president you know you could see say gradually our soccer our national teams you know sa and nobody wants to speak about it because we are sitting in ghana and the gabi watch hey coach am i now you're the coach our bar ah so i coach no cabra funti me i mean you know i can for you and timber funti and to me musa coach coach no questions because when you see the scrutiny we journalists sports journalists some of us not all of them. Some of us. The scrutiny, you did seek a corner of fame. Scrutiny, you did a year day, a quesia pia fame. The questions and the discussions, it has shifted. Today, when it comes to a year, somebody like Chris Hutton, a year, the Black Stars current coach now, people don't want to ask questions again. Now, Ket Okirikumante, questions I want to add Dawson. The guy has not performed. The guy has technically messed up our senior national team in fact the gfa has now become a cluster of friends who believe in one criminal activity and momayan can okre your football in the no i say our local uh, 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 local league is is the worst in africa at time mediama is doing well in africa not because of the league they played in it is because of the investment the owners of the club put in the team let's not get this wrong Midiama Football Club is not doing well in Africa because your, your league you know, is super, uh, extraordinary. No. Midiama is doing well because the owners of the club, they have invested a lot because they understand what the game means. But when it comes to uh, yeah, the national, uh, 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 the, the football association itself, you could see, say, our team, you know, and as our teams, you know, every single day, team, you know, Egu, the Black Star 
me, I'm one person. I don't like going after single players, uh, I, I, picking players individually and and going after them. I don't do that because I see a team as a team. So what is soccer? What is teamwork? As here, you understand to say this is a team. It's up to the technical. Uh, 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 mind. It's up to the coach to pick players uh, who can do the job. Now, our performance against the United States men's national team, no, who would say Chris Hilton, as the head of the Black Stars, as the head coach, you know, he is empty. I am not going to men's words here. This guy, he has some kind of respect. He's one person, uh, he, has the, he has the personality. It is tough for you to stand in front of him to say the kind of things you want to say, Christ or Bufukraba. But it does not mean, say, we can't tell him that he is a bad coach. The coach is terrible. The coach isn't performing. The coach has lost it. The Black Star today, as we play, uh, we, we see it. Ket Okre Kumante, who is the engineer. Ket Okre Kumante today is allowing Gabi Ochredakun to dictate what the Black Stars need. That is our problem. Today, we don't have a black star that was picked or put together by Ghanaians. When I say by Ghanaians, they are selective players. No? But we too, we watch the game. Yes, so, yes, so, no? We know players who are doing good. But what we saw against the United States, what we saw against Mexico, you could, you could see, say, this is a coach who does not have any philosophy. This is a coach who does not have any strategy. Our team does not play to any strategy. We don't have a pattern. It is basically players coming together to play. And the coach just picking names and putting them at places he thinks maybe a chance will come. Chance will be back, no be able to net. So you could see, say, the coach does not have any plan. The team, you know, the black stars of Sule Muntari, Steven Tonado Apia, Michael Essien, the black stars of Milovan, the black stars of Akosia Apia, the black stars of the past, some of the past coaches, you know, it got to a point in Africa and in the world, you know, Everyone was saying, say, Black Stars' pattern has changed. It's a, a pattern where they play only one top. They play only one top because they rely on their sole striker, that is Asamwejan, and believe that the strength of their team is in the midfield. So you have Muntari, you have Asian, you have Tonado, you have uh, uh, Lai Kingston, or you have the... So they believe, they say, the moment you intercept, you have midfield now. The pin man who is Asamwejan will get the ball, and he's a good a clinical finisher. So we had the pattern. People believed in Black Stars' pattern. We played the Nations Cup. Throughout the Nations Cup, we played with only one striker and we were able to get to the finals because the team was carrying a particular pattern we were playing. And there will be some Black Stars' pattern, Ben but We have no pattern. People are just in the midfield when all that they are waiting for is for the opponent to be dispossessed and as they make a mistake for them to get the ball and then what do they do? Because they run back, they get the ball and they don't know what to do. Now, the issue here is we need to blame the coach. We need to start asking questions. This is the coach we signed that we were supposed to see some improvement in the Black Stars play, in the pattern of play, in cohesion, in the way players on the field, you know, they can, the, 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 the coordination will be there. There's nothing like that. And Chris Hilton came to coach Black Stars. In the history of the Republic of Ghana, you ensure Black Stars 4-0 in 30 minutes that. No. And it is not like we lost the game 4-0. It is it, the, 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 worry, worry, the, the worrying thing about this whole thing was we didn't play well. It's not like the players are trying or the coach is tactically trying to do something which is extraordinary. Yakua World Cup, we saw it. Otto Ado was at the bench, but you could see there was a pattern. There was a pattern where you could see, say, we are now we have a shot, now we are you see. There's no pattern in this team. So when the team does not have pattern, it means it does not have a technical eye. It does not have a bench. Then it means the team near Fra Frakobo. So we need to call a spade a spade. We don't have a Black Stars team. We have players, but we don't have a team. And this man, we need to look in his face and tell him, Master, we are paying this money, this all this money, because we want you to perform than the people you came to meet. We have been so hard on local coaches who have handled black stars. And for us to give this man just to walk free, I'm not saying free as not to attack him. I'm just saying to just get away with murder without answering questions and we telling him that his job should be on the line if he, he is not able to be, me, win any game that, that, that comes before him. Because you hire a coach and the coach comes in, every single player that he has brought into the team has not performed over 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 normal average. You've hired a coach, a new coach that has come in a on to me BT previous coaches, you know, any of their records. Then it means you have hired a failure. To me, 
When this man became the Black Stars coach, I thought he had something extraordinary. The Black Star pattern of play is gone. There's nothing like that. The coach stands at the bench and relies on individual players. Uh, he believes that they can do magic. That is not how it works. So you see, it's a good materials on the pitch on Black Stars team. No, they cannot perform because the coach is not giving them any pattern, any strategy, any technical way to play their game. So this coach was. I'm being. I'm going to be straightforward with you. And today I saw a video of Countryman Songu hitting at the sports minister. What has the sports minister got to do with this? What has, has the sports minister got to do with this? I don't see anywhere the sports minister plays in this in this role. The sports minister is the sports minister. The people who appoint the FA coach is the Ghana Football Association. So why should a journalist sit on TV and start attacking the sports minister? The sports minister has got nothing to do here. In fact, when you look at the hierarchy, the sports minister is just there to help the team be assisted by the government. The Ghana Football Association is an autonomous uh, 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 institution. So when we go into the Ghana Football Association and we, start, we stop asking the relevant questions and then shifting blames because... Oh, sports minister, we there or not there? Or you easy? Nenim, 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 and most important thing is, or you tell me, nenim, 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 that nonsense should stop. And with all due respect, Songo, I respect you a lot. I think the idea of shifting the blame from Keto Kreku from the coach to the sports minister, it does not make any sense to me. And th this is my view. This is my. This is what I see. We need to start asking the coach questions. He cannot always be the nice guy, the quiet guy. Me ni anoma santi for journalist omiye sports. Sebi odo dwa dinti brofunti omu share coach omu timu questions. Because who go busa questions is here or or any question bro. But anyway, you know. So when you go to press conferences, a few journalists who basically can speak English, write good English, are the only people questioning the coach. But yen ni anomu tobe 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 for as we dan. They are quiet. And then, oh, my coach, I will be confronting in their local dialect. So they have allowed this coach to pass. So, oh, co, Sebio, Mini Anama, come for radio, sports, oh, co, a piece of them, a year, Kumasa Kesbin, a day and day. You could see, say, the energy not no more to go after Akusiapia, go as, uh, after Sikia Kono, go after coaches. They think they can say things for them to understand, you know. This coach, you know, they are just giving this coach the room. And Ket Okreku has created some empire here. Today in Ghana football, there are a few people who can talk about this coach and talk about him. Ket Okreku Mante has failed. Yes. You people should get real. He has failed. There's no team. It is basically some man that we think we respect. And Obian Tuminkan and him. And I'm Kwasia Fowe. I say Ghana soccer. And at this point, we don't have any better team. I had a coordination cap. Now, something terrible happened. I want to let you people understand. 